Alright, um, so I wanted to show you <laughs> all the different phones I have here. Um, first on your far right is a Cisco 7965 flight set running the Cisco skinny um, protocol phone. Um, to the back of that is a cordless phone, um, a Panasonic um, 5 gigahertz. Um, we don't use cordless phones in the house that much, but that's a break glass phone that's tied to a foreign exchange station port on my Cisco router in the basement. Um, so in case if there was a catastrophic um, issue to the network, um, it is the, the main um, 700 number, which is the line A that I called it here. Um, it would ring to that phone um, in case there was a complete meltdown on the network. Um, over here is a rotary phone, um, a 500 series Western Electric. Yeah, I need that um, bell logo myself. Um, so I'm going to show you that it is plugged into another FXS jack on the Cisco router. Um, it's a phone exchange station, which means it's um, foreign to the, um, the internet devices like my Cisco phone. So I got a bunch of uh, stains plugged on the bottom um, box of cat, um, I mean RJ45 ports here. Now, I, <laughs> I learned something new each day. Um, one thing um, I'll, I'll start off before I get to that is how um, um, how much electricity it took to ring a telephone. It back in the olden days, if the line was ringing, um, it would go almost up to a hundred volts, and that's kind of lethal, um, <laughs> to put it mildly. I think it was direct current, not AC, but who 100 volts is 100 volts right so i'm just gonna put my microphone here and you'll see why the phone doesn't ring as loud okay. i'll call the extension here So um, that, is, like I said, um, I believe the standard voltage for the analog, the modern analogs, you don't need more than 24 four volts to trigger the ringing on um, any telephone, particularly ones with buzzers or piezo buzzers. That's really what makes a phone ring um, in modern day. But another fun thing is that I thought I put the DMTF tone in here and this was uh, I because you know when you set an analog phone you have to tell it if it's a rotary dial or a multi you know frequency tone the more techie word to describe touch tone but as you'll see here I'm going to go call um, the, the 7965 and just too much of my chagrin I didn't know that this was possible Page all here, seven seven nine nine. J 
Johnny, you have a phone call line A. Johnny, phone call line A. Thank you. Yep, so that's basically it. I won't show you the, the Panasonic phone um, other than that um, it, it's kind of the same um, idea. But I just thought that I'd do a quick video on just the whole um, how the how how the rotary phone actually works and why the ringer doesn't and it just tells you um, just the history of how these things have to require a lot of electricity. Alright, that's all I have. Bye.